four dials and my fashion four dudes. How y'all doing? Welcome to another Coco's Couture Closet, home of all the trendy tips for plus size hips. I am Coco and if you are new here, hello love. I am so happy you decided to stop by. Please stick around, like, comment, and subscribe and become one of Coco's Curvy Fashion for a Dollar Dude. And if you are already a subscriber, mwah, it's great to be back here with you in the couture closet. Now, whether you are a new subby or an old subby, hit that bell below, guys. Pound it so that when I upload a new video, you can be the first to know, so you can be the first to watch. Yeah, honey, yeah. And make sure you all follow me on all of my social media platforms. I am Dr. Coco underscore curves on both Instagram and TikTok, and Miss Perfect 1988 on Snapchat. Snapchat is where all the exclusives drop before they make it over here to the channel. All right, you guys, so we are back with our second spring plus size fashion haul, you guys. And like I said in last week's video, this video is gonna be from Fashion Nova Curve, but it's all about the tops. Yes, I picked up four, maybe five, I can't really remember, different tops from Fashion Nova Curve. I have the crop top you see here, I have a full shirt, and I believe I have two bodysuits that I've styled for you guys, and I wanna show you all how I styled them. Now, it's been a while since I've worn shirts. I'm not a shirt girl, I'm a set girl, I'm a dress girl. So that's typically how you're gonna see me. But I'm in love with these jeans, and so I've been looking for some different ways to style these jeans because I cannot get enough of them. So Fashion Nova have 40% off going on. They're celebrating, I think, 21, 22 million um, followers on Instagram. And so I went ahead and shopped the sale, and I have some really cute pieces to show you. Of course, anything that's still available will be listed in the description box below. And without further ado, let's get into this Fashion Nova Curve plus size fashion haul. All right, you guys, so let's just get sizing and everything out of the way. Every shirt that I have on is a size 3XL. I'm a size 22 in the bottoms and a 3XL in the top or a size 3XL in the bottom and in the top and in my dresses. For reference, I am 5'9", and so just keep that in mind with the way that different things might sit on me. It could be because I'm taller or built a little different from you. But let's talk about this first shirt. So again, this is a size 3XL. This is the perfect spring shirt, the perfect spring look. I absolutely love it. You have a crop top, a wrap crop top, and these strings here are very long to the point that if you can see closely, I actually had to double knot these, but that's because they were way, way too long, even after the first tie, and it's wrapped twice already. So I really didn't want to wrap it a third time because when, you, when we get to the back, you'll kind of see why. So I just wrapped it twice and went ahead and double knotted it in the front. I absolutely love this powder blue color. It absolutely spring, screams spring, so I was excited to wear it. I love this standing collar. Y'all know I'm a sucker for a collar and a deep plunging V. And all of the criss the crisscross wrap shirts, they always have a very deep plunging neckline. I absolutely love it. Here with this shirt, I got this cute little denim clutch that I got from Rue 21 last summer for like $5. I have my Ferragamo, my different shades of blue Ferragamo, bougie on a budget belt, and I have these adorable powder blue strappy sandals, and of course my favorite jeans from Rainbow Shopping, y'all. I'm sure I'm tired of seeing, but look, I don't really wear jeans, so the fact that I'm in love with some, we gonna hold on to them for a sec. I love the way that the sleeves are made. They're a little bit puffy. I feel like they will be puffier in the shoulder, but because it's a little snug under the arm, they don't look super puffy on me. Another thing that I like is the elastic band that's here in the wrist. So you don't have to really worry about it being too short or too long because you have this elastic band to kind of help gather the shirt if that's the look you're looking for, like so. Or the shirt is long and tall, girlfriendly, so you can put it around your wrist 
if that's what you're going for. But I love this look. I love the powder blue together, the light blue together. Let me know what you guys think. Is it screaming spring? Do you feel like we're in the first week of spring? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's move to the next shirt, you guys. stitches 
in the crotch of my bodysuit when I know that I can climb into it just so I can avoid it snapping in public because honestly that should kind of hurt a little bit when it snapped between your legs in public or when you sit down or when you just felt your bodysuit pop and you got on a skirt or something and then it starts to ride and now you can see the lining of your bodysuit. It's just not a cute look at all. I paired this bodysuit with this really cute blazer jacket that I got from Shein and it's the perfect girth to go over this and make this a spring look and make it not a really heavy look, but it can also transition because of the dark chocolate into fall. And as you can see, the dark chocolate is doing wonders for complementing my shoes and accessories. It was definitely a good mashup. Now I have one more bodysuit that I'm hoping is where I think it's gonna be. If not, you'll see me come back on camera in this after I put up a couple of pictures of what the bodysuit actually looks like. But I actually wore the bodysuit this same way. I already wore it and now I can't find it. But I really did wear it exactly like I have it on right here, this other bodysuit on. The difference is, is that that bodysuit goes around the neck and is a V, so you can't really wear a bra with it or it's going to look funny. But for this one, I'm going to take this jacket off really quick and give you all a really quick look at the back of the, the, back of the bodysuit so you can see how it's made in the back. I can definitely keep my bra on with this and not worried about it, you know, looking too bulky or anything like that. But I'm here for it. I'm here for the sleigh. Y'all, I don't know WTF happened to that bodysuit. It's so cute though. When I find it, I'm going to insert some pictures here or on one of these sides so you can see what it looks like and see if I can find it being styled maybe on their Instagram page. But I'm sorry, I cannot find it. And then what I'll do is I'll insert it into a future fashion overhaul so you can get a feel for how I will wear it. But we're going to end the haul here because that's all four shirts that I got. That would be all four shirts that I got from Fashion Over Curve. I'm impressed. I love them. They were inexpensive. And you all know that we are here for an effortless slay. The only one that I will probably have to iron is the one that you all saw in the very beginning. But I love you guys so, so much. Continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all of your social media platforms. Support your girl. And like I always say, bring your mama, bring your sister, bring your auntie, bring your cousin, bring your gay uncle, baby. Hell, bring your baby. Because we got room. And there's always room for curves in Coco's Couture Closet. I'll catch you guys later. Bye, guys.